and today I will show you how to update your TV box ROM with the memory card if your TV box is locked. You are not able to use it because of the very slow system and you have a TV box stopped. Save it in this video, then you will be able to update it and update the ROM firmware. Through the memory card, what is the advantage of updating through the card? You can take it anywhere. You don't need the notebook anymore, do you? Carry a notebook somewhere if you are going to update a customer who works with a TV box and you will be able to update only with this card. But make sure the card has the correct ROM on your TV box, I'll leave it up here. This bad one that I'm going to leave in this video is compatible with this board model that is above here. Make sure that the model is the same. To have no problem with this update, as I said, it is very advantageous. So who works with a TV box, right? Updating, installing there is just you are taking the memory card and checking if the customer street is compatible. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. And also, in the description of the video that doesn't have a memory card, I'm going to leave the link so you can buy the memory card at Shopee. It was the memory card that I bought and I will leave the link below there in case anyone wants to buy. It's not mandatory. So if you already have a card, you don't need it either. Just take your old card, at least 8GB of memory, 4GB there so you can do this procedure. And also share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, which will generate a lot. So whoever has a TV box stopped without too much nonsense, then I'll show you, then step by step. I'll be updating this one, right? I've updated this one, it's already fixed there on the memory card, and I'm going to do the procedure now on this TV box here. I'm going to put this TV box aside, I'm going to put it here on the side, and let's go to the computer. In the first fixed comment, guys, I'm going to leave this file there for you. Oh, it's going to be here, rock chip create upgrade, right? He's going to create the pop-up memory card, and I'm going to leave it bad there specific to the model I showed on the screen O. Oh. This one here is the specific bad one, don't install it on other models that don't. If the Wi-Fi or a component can't stop working, then you will have to spend another arrangement over it again. Here you will download the files, right? I will leave the link, then click on the link, it will come all these files, and then just unzip. With WinRAR it will open these files here. First step there guys. You're going to insert your memory card there into yours. OPC notebook, huh? I'll insert it here. Okay, you guys recognize the memory card here, right? What are you going to do now? You are going to format your memory card. You are going to be clicking with the right mouse button on top and will select format. Here it will pay all the files on the memory card if you have any files. Then move them to your HD, right? So as not to lose any files. And here you click start. FAT32 is the default and you don't mess with any of these other settings. Here it will start formatting the memory card. You give an OK and he'll start the formatting. It's pretty fast. You close this here and go back to the folder you downloaded there, right? I'm going to go back here in the folder. Here in the personal folder, there will be these files here in this folder, right? The rock chip, which is the software. Then you are making the bootable memory card. And here is the room first. Then you will open the rock chip great upgrade desk too. Here you will select here this file and will click with the right mouse button. Run as administrator. And you're going to give permission here. Oh, you're going to put it like this, right? To execute. And here he will open. Here my devices are appearing, which is connected to my notebook, and I'm going to select my memory card here. You select the memory card, and the next step here is you're selecting a room in this firmware button. You click on it, and it will select ROM in the ROM folder that you downloaded. It will have this file here. It has an image file type. You're going to open that file, and then you're going to be clicking here on Creech. I'll try to focus there for you to better visualize here. You click Creech here. He's going to ask you to do the process, right? 
And remember, he's going to delete all your files, right? How have you formatted and already erased but before? Then back up your file, or if you have videos, photos, then save it to your HD. To not have any problems here, you're going to click yes. And in the personal sequence, a lot of information will appear there. It is passing the file there to your memory card and creating a potable memory card. You're going to wait for this whole process. You might get it wrong the first time you try it. It gives an error on the screen, but you try 234 times to make this update. It will really start there, make the memory card boutable. When it starts to appear this information down there, O start cop, formon, art user, and all the other information I will leave there, rolling the process. Next, I'm going to show you how to update the TV box. Alright guys, the pushable card is ready. You can download it from your computer or notebook. What are you going to do now? You're going to be putting this memory card here guys, in your TV box. Here on the side of the TV box guys, it has this input here, OSDMMC. You're going to insert the memory card into that slot. You insert it there, and they're going to be connecting the power cord. Okay, I plugged in the power cord, now I'm going to show you the screen. The Android logo will appear, and it will automatically start updating for you. So, the update begins, right? Stalin insists, update, you just have to wait for this whole process. During this process, people do not remove the cables, do not remove the memory card that is plugged in there. If it cannot give error in the whole process, if it does not recognize, it is first there people. What you can do is redo the process. You remove the power cord, then press the reset button on the AV input that you have back here. There's an AV input here, you put the toothpick, you'll feel the click of the button and then insert the cable to try to enter this update screen here. I'm going to cut the video here, because this process takes a while. So the video doesn't take so long. Guys, the process has been completed, right? Now that you're going to do here, he's going to ask you to take out the memory card. Do not forget to remove. If not, if you turn it off and on again, it will start the process again. Remove the memory card, outable there that you just created on your computer, notebook removes itself, okay? And here you can let the TV box restart normally, then you wait for the process, right? It will enter the screen soon. It may take a little while at the first startup, but it's normal. The first startup, then you wait. It started will appear, the logo first, and then it will load the system. I'm going to pause here in the video so the video doesn't get too long. Then you can check its interface. The process successfully completed here on the TV box. Updated with ROM via memory card. Through this memory card that I created there on the computer, now you just have to configure your TV box. Configure the language, configure the settings there for date, time, and ready to use, and install your applications. And if you have any problem with locking the logo, I will leave a video on the card and you watch this video and you will also be able to solve this problem if this locking problem appears in the logo at the beginning of your TV box. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. If you have not subscribed, you already subscribed to the active channel bell of notifications. And if you have any questions about the process there, any error that occurred there, you can put in the comment below. On the final screen, I will leave two videos there related to the subject. Click on one of them. And if we see in the next video, thanks. Until the next one. And I went.